as the way your cell phone is adopted and the operating system is adopted, auto manufacturers have taken on that they need a, a, a common OS in the car now to create a delivery of not just navigation, but all new sensory and real streaming and true streaming is what they need in the car. So as you can see here, there's now two screens. Okay, so you've got an infotainment unit that isn't just bringing Google Maps or mapping or TomTom Tom mapping that's displayed here. Okay, it's also bringing how the battery life is doing, where is real time parking, parking stations. So everything is in real life and in real time. And I think as the car is adopted and software really starts to come into play into 2020 and 2025, it's also going to be really a software car because they want to get rid of all the wiring, the loom, make the car lighter. They want to enhance the battery technology. So it's going to all be about software and that's where Cubic plays. So Cubic has integrated currently about 80 operators globally. Okay. So what we do now is we've eliminated 98 line items from the manufacturing process. We've given them two line items, one for China, one for the rest of the world, and get them to focus on getting the car lightweight and give them a real true streaming capability into the vehicle. We launched with Audi in 2016. We launched them in 13 markets. We used 12 LTE operators. Now we're going towards 5G. We need faster throughput. So you can't use the same product that you brought out in 2016. So the user experience is going to be completely different. Everybody wants it faster. They want, as I said to you, I call it a true streaming. So they don't want downloads. They don't want buffering. They don't want anything. So what you get in your phone, or you have on your phone, or you have at home, that's what people want in the car. They want the same type of experience. That's massively difficult. So the one thing that we've done is created a software platform, and we've done that with the team in Azure. We've worked very, very closely with them since 2011. Okay, we will be the biggest consumer in the auto industry in the connectivity space on Azure. So for us, we collaborate an awful lot of what's the best way to deliver it. We understand where their roadmap is, how we can combine those assets, and how we can then go to the customer and say, okay, what market are you going into, and be more efficient on that. And we see that our Azure consumption is probably going up 5x every year. So if you think about it, that shows you how the car is really adapting to connectivity. When you get into your car today, it tells you where to go get parking, where to get cheap petrol, but you're going to need to know where is a charging station, where is there available parking, and then with all of these new rideshare programs, it's I want availability of a car now. It's all going to be about connectivity, and it needs to be done so seamlessly and flexible. And that's the big thing that we focus on. I don't want to deliver a software update to your vehicle at 2 o'clock on a Monday or 6 o'clock on a Monday when the network is congested. But I can then tell out of the analytics that I have where your car is located, what's the network quality, and what's the fastest speed to deliver that to you. I can probably say that your car is parked outside your house every Monday night at 10 p.m. I can tell you that the network quality is at 98% out of the last six Mondays. Now is the perfect time to do that. You think about it, when is the last time you saw your phone doing an update? It does it in the middle of the night when you're asleep. Why aren't we doing the same with cars? Why isn't the focus on that? I think there's a bit of cost prohibitation in there because people think gigabytes and megabytes are massively expensive. But let's time it and do it the right way. And that's the big thing with the Cubic platform is we look at that. We do OTAs every minute of the day, okay? And we then understand when's the right time to do them. So software has a big thing to play, but time also has a big time thing to play. And then working with your operator partners and saying, let's do it at the right time that suits your network. That's key.